Hey guys, it's Risa. Welcome to my kitchen again. I'm so excited that you're joining me today because I don't know about you guys, but I have a sweet tooth. This girl loves her sweets. Everything in moderation, of course, and today I'm going to teach you another one of my mug cakes, the Risa's peanut butter one, and uh, or Risa's peanut butter cup. <laughs> Who doesn't love peanut butter and chocolate? Okay, you can't send them to school or anybody obviously with an allergy wouldn't be eating this, but these are really yummy and delicious, okay? So depending on the ingredients that you use, check the nutritional information, they may vary, okay? So for two tablespoons of PB2, which is what we're gonna be using, it's one smart point, and two tablespoons of flour is gonna be two smart points. So uh, three smart points depending on which program if you're on the blue and the purple of WW and if you're on the green you add the egg so that's another two smart points so you can eat it right away you can let it cool have it the next day make a few different variations which is what I like to do and keep them in my freezer so before I start and teach you this easy peasy delicious recipe that you're gonna just whip up yourself or with your kids, your grandchildren or your students. My students love doing this, okay? And I work in special ed, so I only have six students and uh, they just love doing this and taking turns. It's great for sensory. Um, you know, then they get to try it, so it's a great reward afterwards. There's so many benefits to baking with anybody. Remember, I hope that you have ring, rung the bell, ring the bell, so that uh, YouTube will notify you when I have a new video, that you've subscribed. Uh, make sure you like, okay, there's a like button, comment if you have any questions. You know my group for extra support, WW Tips and Recipes by Risa. All right, my website, www.risaweiner.com. I'm on social media and I'm on Instagram, WW Reese's Tips. So, you know, I can run, but I can't hide. What are you going to need? If you have extra bananas, now I wouldn't use ones from the freezer because they're going to be too wet and mushy. So don't throw out your old bananas because they are amazing and really sweet. So I use just like a medium banana. Um, you can use a large banana. You may need a, like another tablespoon of flour. And uh, for the same amount of smart points, you can use up to three tablespoons. Okay, so I have a nice large mug. I get it at the dollar store. And, you know, you can use a smaller mug. Um, it was really funny. So I gave my brother the recipe and he made it today. And he went, oh my God, it's pouring over. I said, well, what kind of mug did you use? So, um, well, it was almost gonna pour over. I said, go get yourself a bigger mug. And why I like this one is it's wide and it looks more like a cake, okay? So it's up to you. You can use a wide mug, but make sure you spray it well with whatever cooking spray. So two tablespoons of PB2, tablespoon of plain Greek yogurt, remember whatever brand you want two tablespoons of the self-rising up to three tablespoons and if you don't have self-rising flour no worries use uh, all purpose and just use about I would say a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder okay you want to use a little bit more a pinch of salt I have one egg one banana and if you want to put in some chocolate chips or let me see if I have any nuts here if I keep some ground um, Peanuts would be really delicious. You can add just a sprinkle and then you don't have to count it. For a teaspoon is zero smart points. These are the uh, semi-sweet uh, Sensato chocolate chips. And it's unbelievable. They're so tiny that even, look at that, even for a teaspoon, you get quite a bit. So you can put it in, you can just put it on top, all right? So let's get started. And we're gonna crack our egg. Okay, really easy. I love recipes that are easy. And I'm just gonna whisk my egg. I like to always start with the wet first. And then I'm gonna add, I'm just looking for my little spatula. 
because I'm going to get my one tablespoon of Greek yogurt. Don't worry about what kind of Greek yogurt as long as it's zero fat and uh, plain, plain zero fat Greek yogurt. Okay, so we're just going to whisk. Um, I tell my students that it's a good workout. Plus, I make them count. I make them count how many times they're stirring it. So there's math, you know, there's, you know, patience because they have to wait and take turns. It's sensory because it smells good and tastes good, you know, and it's just fun. We laugh, we tell stories. So we just incorporate it really well. I'm gonna just add a pinch of pink Himalayan salt. Okay, and I'm gonna get my banana. And it's nice and sweet because it's been sitting out on my counter. And if it's a big banana, you don't have to use all of it. I just like to sort of mash it with my hands first. And then it's messy. So I have my towel here. All right, so you can use a potato masher or just, it's a good way after work to get your frustrations out. There's a lot of good benefits to baking, as well as the fact that you're in control of what you're adding. You can decide, you know, if there's something you like, you wanna put some almonds in it, some walnuts, some pecans, some seeds, you know, some cinnamon, like whatever you want, you know, you can change it up. So I've just put it in and now I'm going to add my sugar, my one tablespoon. Oh, I forgot one tablespoon or two. It depends um, whatever sugar substitute you want. Remember, all my recipes are written under each video. If I've forgotten something, please let me know. That has happened in the past, my friends. Like I said, I work full time. This is just a hobby. I love to do this and pay it forward. So I'm using um, fruit monk sugar, and you can use Swerve, Stevia, Truvia, Splenda, or regular sugar, or even a tablespoon of honey or syrup, okay? So it's optional. So I'm just gonna put that in. Good thing I remembered. And my PB2 for the delicious Reese's peanut butter. Okay, and mix that. Mix that in. And you don't need to add water to your PB2 and then your flour. Okay? And I might just put a few chocolate chips inside it. Just want to show you. And it looks like a cake batter. And it tastes like cake batter. And depending on your microwave, at work I usually microwave it for four minutes. So three to four minutes, depending on your microwave, if it's a bit older microwave like mine at work. So you can see a nice thick consistency, like a real cake batter. And I might put a few peanuts on top, why not? Really make it delicious. And then I'm gonna add it to my mug, just make sure it's all incorporated the flour. And take your little spatula so you get every ounce um, my brother says to me today, are you supposed to eat the whole thing? Because I'm stuffed. So I said, it's up to you. You know, you can eat like a piece of it. You can eat half of it. You can eat all of it. If you're, you know, you're really hungry, you know, it is a good size portion. You think, oh, it's only in a mug. It can't be that big. Trust me. It's a good size. So I'm just going to add my chocolate chips on top. I'll just sprinkle a tiny bit of nuts, why not? Just for fun. And my Reese's peanut butter. And uh, I mean, you wanna use real peanut butter, but the PB2 on WW, you know, it's just so much less for more. So for one tablespoon of peanut butters, three smart points that you'd be adding, for two tablespoons of PB2, it's one smart point. So here it is. 
Hope you can see. I'll bring it down a little bit there. And I'm gonna put it in my microwave for three minutes. All right, let me wipe my hands off. All right, so the other thing, uh-oh, this got dirty, my plate that I'm gonna put it on. Um, so what I like to do once it's cooled, especially if you're having guests or just for yourself to make it look pretty, I have Swerve icing sugar and you can sprinkle that on. If you put it on right away, it's gonna melt in because it's hot, my friends. Um, some people like to eat um, the cake right away and it's nice and like wet and gooey or you can wait till it's cool or you can even have it the next day. I like making a couple because then, I don't know about you, but to me, like one of my favorite things is bread pudding and this kind of reminds me of bread pudding. So yesterday I made, I'm going to just take them out. You can see that I usually just after dinner, it looks like I take, took a, I don't know what, it looks crazy, but I made the peanut butter one. You can see how nice and high, and here's the middle of it, nice and spongy, and my chocolate one. Um, it's just so decadent and delicious. And then, you know, so you can take some, like I said, some icing sugar, and I just love it cold the next day. And um, again, if you're serving it, you know, for company, you know, it looks so pretty with some fruit. If you see it this way, <laughs> not where it's cut. Um, and the other thing you can do is if you have frozen yogurt or you want a bit of ultra light Cool Whip or uh, light whipped cream, I have the French side, light whipped cream, you can even add a little bit of cocoa to your Cool Whip and make it chocolate Cool Whip, okay? There's another tip for you guys. So um, again, you can have it with, without, with some fruit on the side. And honestly, if you have a sweet tooth and you just want something really quick, this is just a really nice option. Again, if you make a few like I do and keep them in your fridge in a sealed container I'll just show you I just buy these ones at Costco okay and um, you could even freeze them okay it's so amazing I, I can't even tell you and I'm gonna be coming up with lots of different uh, variations all right so you'll stay tuned for that and we have 10 seconds left for this delicious cake and you see it only takes a few ingredients and usually you would have most of these ingredients in your house. Woo! This one came out super high and you can see that it's still steaming and it's nice and spongy. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over. Whoa, this one came out super high. Okay, look at that. Look, I'm gonna bring it up super close so you can see. You know, when you make a cake in the oven, you don't normally eat it right away. Um, at least I like to let it cool, but some people really like this hot. Some like it hot, right? Um, so it's optional and you can see that it looks so delicious. You saw the other ones inside. And uh, let me just, let me take a knife. I'm going to be eating a piece anyways. I just want to show you. I'm going to just cut one to show you what it looks like inside, okay? So that's what it looks like, like a normal cake, all right? And um, again, you eat the whole thing. You can have a piece. You can make a couple of variations and have a little bit of both. And I just hope you love my recipe for my Reese's peanut butter cup mug cakes. All right, so take care. Remember, sharing is caring. So tell everybody about my channel, my group. You're welcome to join. You're welcome to add people because the more the merrier that we get people on this health journey. I'm noticing there's a glare. There we go. Um, I'm gonna stand this way because my kitchen is so bright this afternoon. It rained here in Toronto. And now it's super, super sunny. So um, 
again, sharing is caring, telling people so that we can get everybody on board to lose weight, but more importantly, to be healthy, okay? And enjoy delicious recipes without the guilt. Mwah! Bye for now. Take care, guys.